Hello and welcome back to my video vlog. Today is Thursday, it's nine o'clock. Uh, yesterday I was almost sleeping all day. End of the day my fever went so high, so at the end I needed to took one painkiller. And after that my fever was getting back to, uh, my body temperature was uh, dropping back to normal, back to normal temperature and uh, Today I, I don't have any fever. Actually, I feel kind of normal. I feel like my body is almost normal today. I feel like I can almost do all the sports and everything almost normal, not already normal today. But uh, usually if I'm sick, I'm always taking one or two days off before that and uh, recovering my body well before I start doing sports again. But uh, I rest, I rest today. Probably also also tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I go and uh, maybe do some walk or or, or something. Uh, also today I I need to go store buy some food. Uh, I still have that meat inside the fridge inside the freezer. So I'm gonna do one oven food also today. And luckily also I can go and watch the concrete law uh, documentary also today because I bought the ticket all already so because I don't have fever anymore I can also go and watch that and uh, but still rest of today I'm just gonna I just gonna I'm just gonna rest rest today also uh, I'm not sure yet if I also pick up my shoes today and my board and uh, mm, uh, my pro model uh, hasn't been coming coming yet so I still wait for the Pro model board probably it's arrived it's arriving uh, this week or next next week but I, I also want to go skateboard before that so I'm gonna pick up one major label blank uh, red blank board there is like a one they have been like stepping there is like only stepping like burn it stepping logo almost like um, almost like the one that I got in my in my arm also like the burning, burning stab. So that red board, uh, it's, it was a different tattoo or, or, or something. Uh, so I'm gonna pick up those blank boards, or, or, or one blank board also. And uh, uh, those shoes that I ordered from, for my favorite thing, skateboarding shop. And uh, uh, yesterday, I was just uh, I was watching some politics and uh, some news after after the skateboarding podcast, but I was so I was so tired. So basically, I was just almost almost sleeping all the time. This morning, I have been watching some Finnish Finnish news, and uh, but I all the time when I'm watching Finnish morning shows, I feel just anxious, somehow anxious all, all the time and talk. So now I start watching uh, UK's morning breakfast show and. Uh, after that, also United States news, and uh, basically just also resting. Basically, just also resting today. Also, I noticed that there is a Red Bull Red Bull Terminal uh, contest also today, and Nine Club Crew is there hosting it. So I'm gonna I need to search information how to watch that also. Uh, so probably I'm gonna put alarms to my clock and watch that. That also uh, uh, to tonight and. Uh, I need to check the schedule and uh, also also this weekend is also San Diego uh, Street League contest so there is a lot of skateboarding contests also there has been some contest uh, inside the Brazil and it's so interesting like I can see that there's like a, the parks are a little bit more like a standard and uh, also uh, it's interesting to watch but because they are speaking only Portuguese or, 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 or Brazil it's a little bit difficult to What's it not understanding almost almost anything so uh, let's hope in future there is also someone to translate those contests and do English English version also because every time there is a English version it's more interesting and it's more international that that way that way also uh, anyway now I start watching watching some news and uh and uh good thing is that my, my fever is almost gone my body feel a little bit rested my back feel a lot a lot better after repeating uh fail two days ago four hours and uh also my legs has been resting and i have been sleeping 
I've been, I've been sleeping maybe 10 or 13 hours or 14 hours, maybe even 15 hours last two days. So I feel uh, well, well, well rested. And uh, also I'm a little bit stressed about, stress, stressed about my uh, rent. And uh, also I still don't know how, how my the supports are gonna go and uh, hopefully end of the month I also get salary from from this YouTube channel because there was after January February uh, there was some they didn't pay on February and then two salaries on March and uh, so let's see how the ap April goes let's hope the salary comes on time so then I can start counting again and uh, because I see all the time the the in incomes and the money and let's hope the poor my pro pro board is also selling so i can also get uh some some sellings and incomes from from that also and uh i consider uh one contract also and uh let's hope i can also have paper version uh for for that also but now i start watching watching more news and resting resting today and uh, uh after that go to store and also cook cook something all right, so now it's already one o'clock and uh, also I, I was bringing the rapids out and uh, and also also I went to store. I'm going to do uh, one oven food. I have some potatoes left inside the fridge and also that uh, meat is that I bought some some days ago and I'm going to do like one oven, Karla, kind of like Karlan paisti. There wasn't any carrots left, so I bought this mix of different different roots and uh, carrots and I don't even know what is in in here but uh, let's see when I open when I open this so so now I start now I start cooking and uh, now I start cooking and then sour and then I'm gonna go and see the con concrete law uh, documentary it's kind of interesting because I also went to Sandal Street, I was feeling like that's one, when I was there, I was actually um, so into uh, see all the good skate parks because of the, uh, in there all the skate parks were so much better than in here, the quality was better and the design was, was better and, uh, and uh, but I also wanted to see uh, that DIY, that DIY skateboarding park, so I also went to Channel Street, uh, when I was in, in Los Angeles, you can check that episode from my previous uh, episodes if you, if you are if you are interested. Actually, actually, like I said, it was a little bit uh, scary to be there alone without without any anyone else because all the transitions are kind of uh, big. And also before that, I, I I was a long time without not skateboarding that much transition, and uh, my trucks are a little bit tired. Tight, more tight now and uh, also my wheels are a little bit more smaller my board is a little bit smaller so I'm, I'm a little bit back to like uh how I started skateboarding when I was young like more technical more technical but at some point it went to uh, more transition and uh also also uh so we like the DIY and uh actually I, I learned to skateboard ball and curve ball corners uh 2000 11 or 12 so i was before that skateboarding over 10 years before i even knew how to how to curve or do like a transition skateboarding but then it changed it to something else so my level was dropping a little bit and but but then now i'm more like over overall skateboarder like transitions and also also curves and technical tricks but now i'm back back doing like a more technical stuff i feel more comfortable to do it com more comfortable to do it that way and uh and uh, also i think it's for me it's uh also more 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 interesting but uh anyway i'm gonna start cooking also uh it's uh, interesting to see also that that documentary and uh and uh well anyway now start cooking Right, so the next thing is that I'm gonna put the food inside the oven maybe one hour or one and a half an one and a half an hour maybe and maybe I need to add a little bit more water so it doesn't burn. All 
All right, and uh, also, also I've been asking a banana box. I went to my closest first store that I've been going uh, last year, and I I picked up some banana boxes. And to be honest, like uh, I'm probably eating more than these bananas in in this time that I have been living in this house. But any anyway, I I picked up also some banana boxes, and I'm I'm gonna start uh, packing my packing my stuff also also next week and uh, also if you if you have been, if you if you have if you have been having uh, almost 39 degrees fever day before I don't recommend to uh, carry any boxes but it's better than uh, back in covid times when the when Finland was opening again I was uh, working sick in one uh, uh moving company like, like one company that was uh carrying other people's stuff uh house to house to house i was there just uh working having having fever and no sta- eating eating standing and uh 11 10 or 11 hours and uh, i didn't even know i didn't even know uh we didn't even know who who's whose stuff we need to carry we were just there carrying carrying uh, other people's stuff when Finland opened it, uh, having having fever, so it was dangerous, dangerous working. Anyway, uh, rest of the now I'm gonna rest. I don't wanna uh, like uh, I wanna rest uh, smartly. I wanna rest my body and uh, not exercise more today. I'm, I'm gonna go under the blanket, watch some TV, uh, but also I wanna see the concrete uh, law documentary so I'm also gonna go there uh, wear some warm clothes and uh, and uh, but not now anyway I, I watch some TV and uh, wait until the food is until the food is ready and uh, also also it's better than also it's better than uh, 2019 or beginning of 2018 when I was in Egypt with my ex-girlfriend and I was r- running having a uh, diarrhea and fever in, in inside the village uh, Luxor or, or, or something and uh, any, anyway it, it, that, that wasn't smart that wasn't smart neither but I was having food poisoning all, all, week, all week long for, for, for some reason but anyway now I was watching TV but anyway, anyway, back to back to my old relationship. There was no, no, there was no place to go, so that was the reason. All right, so now the food is food is ready, and it's having a little bit different feelings than than usually. So let's hope it's let's hope it's good. And and uh, also also today, like also the day that I went to uh, LA, there has been all day some uh, teenagers. Uh, calling to my phone and making some uh, prank calls. It's a little bit uh, annoying, so uh, please don't uh, harass me and uh, call to my private number. If someone wants to say something, I don't mind that much if people are pranking on or my YouTube com- comments, but I don't uh, if I don't want that people are calling, calling uh, uh, like kids are calling prank calls to my private, private number. But anyway, now I start eating. All right, so now I'm already on my on my way to Centrum and uh, Centrum and that movie 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 premiere and uh, also 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 I thought that probably I'm also gonna buy something to eat maybe one smoothie or smoothie or something before 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 I go there but at the same time I, I feel like I also need to save also need to save some money. Right, so at the end I also decided to come jungle to to and do uh, today's uh, daily uh, today's daily smoothie that is a tropic tropic kale, so tropi tropic kale or, or or something. And uh, also the, the movie is gonna the movie is gonna start in the movie is gonna start in, in nine minutes. So I'm a little bit in hurry. So let's hope let's hope uh, it doesn't take too much too much time. So, so let's hope I'm not gonna be late. Alright, so I still have 
I still have uh, five minutes, five minutes time, and uh, at the end I decided to fight uh, today's daily, daily, daily uh, smoothie, and uh, today's uh, daily, daily smoothie, and uh, luckily, it's, luckily it's not that far away. All right, so I was also almost missing the, almost missing the entrance, almost. So hopefully it's in here. All right, so somehow, somehow I went lost but at the end I, I found, found the entrance luckily but somehow I, I went completely wrong direction We well, know that we have one of the largest DUI skate parks in Helsinki in Suvilahti and we also unfortunately know that it's under great jeopardy so that's one of the reasons that April wanted to bring the film here and also a reason that after the screening of Concrete Law there is going to be a discussion about what skating and these kind of parks can mean to people and the whole city environment. Before we start screening, please give a very warm welcome to director April Jones and the executive producer Chris Nierako. Channel Street Skate Park battling bureaucracy for seven years. But there's one thing that the city forgets about us skateboarders. Is we sure as hell don't give up that easy. So, but it's a great example of we, not only did we save Channel Street Skate Park, we're actually in partnership with the city of Los Angeles and creating a skateboard advisory board. So it just goes to show you that things can change for the better and we hope we can do all we can you know the only thing we can do is try our best so cheers give it up for chris what's up everybody thank you all for coming out um i think everybody in this room probably has the same fucking story skateboarding saved our lives i know i'd be dead or in jail without it and it's places like Channel Street, it's places like the park here in town that make that shit happen and like keep kids off the streets, off drugs. And um, April just did an amazing job of just pointing the camera and capturing the entire fight. And it's very rare that we can say we fought the law and we won, but in this one we fucking won. And I'm hoping that you, you all just keep fighting and you fucking win your fight too. And I hope the city comes around on it. So, uh, without further ado, April Jones's Concrete Law. DIY, I mean, because the exact same things apply for the all DIY things in Helsinki. I've been working with this sauna project and and well, what youth venue just torn down and rebuilt it another place but they are uh, kind of like the same things that you know you, you have to play, play by the book, book but then, you know how, did, how can you do it with minimal cost and, and as fast as possible and hopefully even backwards that you know after you've done it <laughs> you get the permissions and, and uh, I would say Helsinki wouldn't be that much easier but it would, would have been easier if the location would be something else than what we have now. So if I read into it though, there's a chance. Uh, I'm kind of lucky I don't work on, the, on either side anymore, but uh, after, after the court ruling, because I've only read the news, I haven't read the ruling, it was kind of harsh that, you know, there's zero uh, problems with the process of making the town plan 
and, and, and there is no uh, uh, like heritage value uh, that would be uh, a good reason that the, the, the change the town plan. So is there any gap for an appeal for the highest administrative court? I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not a lawyer, but you know, it, it looked rather tight. But after watching this film, does it sway your opinion that there is heritage value in what these fellas have built there and the kids that enjoy it? Yeah, I've always said that. I've always said that. But I will always say that. Well, we've had a couple of coffees around the topic that, you know, uh, it's it's really unhappy accident that the location is what it is. If, if it would be, I don't know, five other spots in Helsinki area, uh, you know, I don't know, I, I, I doubt that there would be anybody, in, even in the city officials, that would, you know, want to tear it down. But now it's a it's few meters too north for a street and, 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 <laughs> and a meter too high for, for, uh, for, for, for the uh, area. It's, it's really difficult. And, and, uh, a few meters seems shavable, though. Uh, yeah. uh, well, actually, if it would have stayed on its original spot, because it's actually expanded, it's it's it's, it's bigger than it was supposed to be. Uh, but the uh, but it, again, it, you know, because it's it's old harbor area, and, and and the level of land for the future area will be totally different. And and it was never constructed so that you could kind of like slice it down and transport something there or nowhere so so it's I haven't find a solution well we can help we can help find a solution um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with uh, Venice Beach in California it's pretty famous um, they built a skate park there it's actually the like, the centerpiece of everything that they built There'll be four or five kids skating, but there'll be about a thousand spectators. There's more of a draw as a tourist attraction for that than there is anything else in Venice. And anything that's being built on that space could have the same benefits of having that tourist attraction here in town. Just a thought. Um, I'm not going to just keep riding you, so I'm going to turn it. I need to, to mention that uh, today, when we were earlier at the park, like all of a sudden, like almost a hundred architect students from Lula Sweden came over and stopped by and we were like, who are these people? But I mean, there's just how interesting and, and unique the place is that, you know, architecture students from, you know, Sweden come, come to visit Lula. It's not, it's pretty far away. Twamis, do you want to say something real quick? Yeah. yeah. I think uh, also not a lawyer, but I think there is a clear case that the health city of Helsinki should kind of look into again what's defined as heritage value, because I, in my opinion the heritage value hasn't been updated since the uh, Suomen Linna historical castle. Like uh, <laughs> there are all kinds of heritage values that have been happening since the 80s, but. Uh, that just needs to be kind of discussed again. And might I add that there are like laws concerning what's considered a heritage value, but after reading the rejected appeal that we made, just so happens that it wasn't justified in any way why, why the place <coughs> wouldn't fill in those um, requirements that are listed in the law as, as to what is considered heritage value. Which is weird. You make a decision that concerns people. You say that there is no heritage value, but then you make no justification on as to why not. Yeah, and uh, I think that in uh, maybe all of the skate parks has a lot of more values as well as just a heritage value. If you think about like the community, the, like each skate park has some sort of community around them, and obviously, so we like the skate park's community might be the biggest one. Uh, 
I think most of you probably have seen the skateboarding documentary made by Jakob Gesso that uh, came, out, came out last December. And there's this small section that has stuck on my mind where Jakob uh, interviews this presumably girl at the Suvilahti skate park who tells Jakob that uh, she's uh, very first time visiting the, the, the Suvilahti skate park. And then when they talk further, uh, like how, how she sees the value of the park, uh, she describes it that this place is made by us. And it's pretty safe to assume that she weren't part of uh, making the actual park because, as, as she said, it was her first time there. So and she still felt that it was made by us. And most of the skate parks in Finland are designed and made by skateboarders through their companies and like with city money. But I don't think that any one of us feels like that those parks are made by us. And one thing I want to say about the her, her, uh, the culture and, and what was the reasoning? The heritage, heritage, heritage value. <clears throat> so one idea was we are, they don't see it. Like where's the statistics, the data and the facts? As skateboarders, is there some form some sort of way we can get numbers and data and facts and then present it to the city because you know they don't see it they're just hearing it oh well is it we don't see anything they don't know thrasher is the bible you know so i you know like city they need numbers they need data they need facts so if there's some sort of way we can come up with the skateboard population in helsinki you know, how many skateboarders are there? You know, that, I mean, even that number would show them like, whoa, and then that's fact number on a piece of paper instead of just saying whatever. Because even though we're not lying, they might not take our, our word for value, but maybe they will take statistics, data, and numbers. And so that's kind of the strategy, um, you know, to, to show them instead of telling them. I mean, you could just show them the photo from the downhill race of 3,000 people showing up from, from around the world. Yeah, that's what we're Who will fucking make the entire world? Entire world. True. Come on. It's like a painting of Dali. You can't throw Dali, Dali painting, never. It's something for the humanity. When I, I'm from Spain, when I arrived here, Building itself isn't actually all that unique, but the community that you know, the community community plus the skate park, the, the structures there are what makes it unique. Yeah. That is that. Sorry, just a quick one. There's probably zero lawyers present, <laughs> but the uh, I'm a lawyer. And yes, we, yes. We only, we only have five. That's the goal. I'm a gardener, I'm beautiful, but we should be lucky there. That's it. So we've only got, we've only got five minutes, and, and he's absolutely right. Like, it's not a matter of why it it was chosen, but it's there. And, it, and, and if it's up to this crew, it's not going. I the water for the first pool. But I, I, I do want to just quickly address um, your first point. And, um, and I think you make a great point. Um, how do you convince investors that this land is more profitable? 
Well, I'm gonna go back to Venice Beach because in Northern California, there was Silicon Valley, all the tech companies. Venice Beach was in bad shape. They, they redid everything and they put that skate park as a centerpiece because they knew that there's nothing on earth cooler than skateboarding. And all those nerds in tech decided they wanted to be by the beach and it became known as Silicon Beach. And all of the housing property, all of the land went up in value, thanks to skateboarding. Yeah. So that's the answer to your question. It's very easy to explain how to improve the value. Skateboarding makes the world better. Yeah, and all DIYs, but you know, you, you need to have that in your rhetoric pack. Okay. I wanna ask you too. Um, so uh, we only have like two minutes now, but how, what would you suggest we put in the appeal to convince? Uh, just to find out, you know, who needs to who, make, make the point. With us. With us. I, I, I would, I, I, I would like brutalize it, but yeah. the, uh, he, he knows, I mean, versus, what money. is... Who's the investors? <laughs> How do we convince them to build around it? <laughs> what about squatters' rights? You got it. Words, it's your movie, it's your baby. I don't think skaters give up. I think we should um, keep thinking of different ways we can convince. Um, the city to build around it because we're here we're not going anywhere um, so the fight continues any last words from the panelists thank you guys for being here really appreciate it thank you guys for being here I'll be skating the next two days we're going to town here tomorrow but Saturday Sunday I'll be at Suvalati skateboarding so come join me <laughs> right, right now, right now. I forgot it, it doesn't get dark at like all right, so now it's now it's already three past eleven, and at the end I also decided to uh, after the movie I decided to go uh, go to a bar with the crew with the crew and with the people and uh, socialize and uh, play some play some billiard and and talk. But uh, now I'm back home. Also, I'm a little bit surprised because I was having fever yesterday, so I'm a little bit surprised how I can how I'm how I'm feeling already so good, but. Uh, I'm trying to avoid also tomorrow not doing any any sport and resting resting my body. Also uh, during the during the documentary, I was uh, uh, maybe ten or twenty minutes. I was sent able to understand somehow almost almost nothing. And also when the street uh, talking panels started after afterwards, uh, also small moment when I started to recording beginning beginning be be be. be, be, be Beginning of of recording, uh, uh, I was uh, five or five five minutes or six minutes that I couldn't somehow uh, think 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 that well. But at the end, I was also 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 able to think. But anyway, the documentary was actually actually good. Uh, it was uh, interesting to interesting to watch. Also, uh, it's always nice to socialize and talk with the with the people. But uh, this was again today's episode. Now I go sleep and uh, and also tomorrow I'm gonna rest. Hopefully on Saturday I can go back and and skateboard also. Thank you everyone again for watching this and see you tomorrow.